everyone. This is Freya and Joy. And today I am going to talk about eight things you need to know that is about the energies that is going to influence you now when we have this super this pink super full moon that actually is the most powerful and the biggest full moon during this whole year 2020 so this is about that and you are going to get that information right now i am going to talk today about eight key things you just need to know now about this coming pink super full moon this super this super moon is set to be stunning and we have this is the biggest full moon of this year 2020 that is rising and this is going to be the brightest moon of the year and yeah it's gonna have a a huge <clears throat> impact on people that's why I do this video now uh, so what do you say about this so this is what you need to know about this pink super uh, full moon in April 2020 and the energy breakthrough are you ready and I would like to say first here, be sure to hit that uh, subscribe button and notification bell to get notified when I post new content. I have a bundle of only high vibe people in my YouTube community uh, that are my subscribers. I have a bundle of only so if you only good ones. So if you come in, then uh, you are meant to be one of those be sure of this this is about quality not about quantity it's about high vibration right now we are creating um, the uh, ground so to say for the big step we will take April 13th are you ready are you with us so I will now present to you, my dear friends, eight key things you need to know about the powerful, creative, intense and unique energy of the full moon in April, this amazing year of 2020. And I will also tell about when to see this amazing full moon, this pink moon. So stay tuned and are you ready? Let's go. And also, I like to tell you now, so you know that I will give you more information also about the moon specific under this video. And also, I will give the link where you can check what day it is, the pink full moon where you are on the globe. Okay, good. So now first, I like to answer to uh, this and some more questions. Uh, I've got so I got some questions about this pink full moon uh, so why is it called pink moon you ask someone asked the name pink moon comes from one of the first spring flowers and uh, it's called wild ground phlox, also known as moss phlox, phlox subulata, as they uh, cover the ground like a pink blanket. These brightly colored flowers are native to North America, and they often bloom around the time of April's full moon. So that's why this moon is called pink moon that's where the name come from okay so now I answered that so this P super uh, this uh, super moon this pink super moon is set to be stunning as I said and uh, I also want to answer to this question question I got why is it called uh, super 
moon. And uh, so here is why it's called supermoon of the year 2020 and the biggest full moon of this year. This moon is on the night of April 7 and it will be about 356.907 kilometers from Earth. So this supermoon is so because it's uh, closer to Earth than the average Earth moon distance of 386.400 kilometers. So this is the answer. This moon is called supermoon because it's actually closer to Earth than other moons uh, is. So you 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 gonna if you have an atmosphere where you look at this moon, you will see this that it's closer to Earth. This moon. And so before I go on and tell you about the eight amazing things you just need to know about the energy of this coming full moon, I will tell you now. When is the next supermoon? Supermoon for Sydney, New South Wales, Australia in 2020 April will be exactly 8th of April at 12.35 p.m. And the global time for the pink supermoon being 100% illuminated is April 8 at 2.35 a.m. universal time. And a little extra information. This next supermoon is on Tuesday, April 7 in North America. Rest you can the rest you can find out in the link. I'm gonna put it out under this video. And now it is time for me to present the eight key things you need to know about how energies will affect you during this strongest full moon in 2020. Are you with me? Number one is that it's this is a little bit of uh, an astrological uh, uh, knowledge. This is the climax of the first lunar cycle of the spring season, and it takes place in the relationship focused sign of Libra, the cardinal air sign represented by the balancing scales. While this lunation is super powerful when it comes to energizing our partnerships in love, business and friendship alike, uh, we'll also be hit with some classic full moon chaos, chaos, thanks to some other planetary aspects that will be simultaneously steering the cosmic pot. A thought a, a tough square aspect between hot heat heat headed Mars and unpredictable Uranus could mean chaos, freak occurrences and unexpected fighting or discord. But with libraries uh, Libras Libras energy we'll all find ourselves focused on balance, diplomacy and love. This is uh, about the, like from the, it, this is from the astrological point of view. And then number two, the full moon have the power to illuminate. So this is what the full moon do is to bring things to the surface. And shed light on matters that may have been lurking in the shadows for you. So it's a very good thing to do is to be very aware of when you feel it's too much for you. And breathe through your stress. Um, this tends to be uh, appearing especially at your closest partnership. And it, you can seeking to bring balance 
to any part of your life when you feel out of luck and will be uh, it will be your shelter in that storm when these things sur come to the surface uh, and you feel you you have too much coming up inside of you because as i said before this is a very strong energy and very special energy from this super this pink super full moon number three it is bringing it can be bringing sickness misfortune compulsory change inhibition and restraints this is a time for protecting, nurturing, and healing of yourself and your loved ones. The 7 April full moon lasts for two weeks up to the April 22 new moon. New moon. So this, this is like the full moon is three days, we used to say, but this energy this brings to the surface lasts to the 22nd of April even if we have a real big step going on the 13th of April where we have grounded uh, the beginning of this month April and it's gonna be cha change even big bigger change the 13th of April but there can be still waves from this that is coming up to your surface inside of you until the 22nd of April the fourth thing you need to know is be a little extra uh, have a little extra uh, caution caution during this full moon as it can affect you with a very with this very strong energy and in some cases therefore cause cause you misfortune an undesirable undesirable event such as an accident um, however now that you know this you can be extra vigilant and not move on with things if you feel unsure or don't really know what you want to do say or how to act in a situation for example so this is very important to take it easy and be conscious what you feel and don't say yes to things you are unsure don't take any steps if you feel unsure the fifth thing is that is important for you to know is that uh, it is possible that you are facing some kind of mandatory change, uh, compulsory change uh, within one or even more areas of your life during this full moon's influence now in April. Being obligatory may mean that you need to look at a situation like this. Accept what you cannot change. Do what you can change or what you absolutely need to change. And know the difference. Once more. Accept the things you can change. Have the courage to change the things you can change. And the wisdom to know the difference. This is especially important in April 2020. The thing number six you need to know. Is it is possible that you have well hidden inhibitions and some kind of restraints in your own life this super full moon will push and squeeze these areas within you now so the best thing you can do now is to already 
uh, is to already now is to be prepared and see if you can come to term terms with what this can be in your life i mean uh, you can begin right now to see what in you have these qualities and what possibly gonna come up to the surface and that you need to take care of now is the right time even if it is uncomfortable when things come up from uh, the, the depth of your inner being it means also that you have the best opportunity to take care of it now because these energies we have combined with the full moon that is from the galactic sources like photonic light and light codes this actually means that you are taken care of you have extra boost with energy so you can do these things you have extra support that's what it means uh, if you find this these things uh, then you can create a let go ceremony with these things you may have to repeat this ceremony and that i say ceremony is just because it is a total experience ceremonies is always in the now moment and a total experience it's not just words to say uh, which my experience of all thing people talk about that is called rituals it can be only words it doesn't have to be a total experience in the now moment ceremony is always in the now moment and it's always a total total experience of all you are has to be there so <clears throat> just because it is a total experience and not words it is good to say uh, and use that word in a let go ceremony I will leave a link below this video to a video that tells you how to do this let go ceremony. The number seven thing you need to know now. This is, it is time for protection. Know how to protect your time. So, for me, I have channeled, it came up that what is the most important for people now to learn to protect is their own time. And with that comes that it is about also to value and understand what your time means for you, what you do with your time, how you are appreciating your life and the time you have. So, the focus here is on, this is time for protecting yourself and it is about to protect your time in a right and divine and good way for you and your life. You will have benefits from that and everyone around you. Your time is something you need to protect. Most people think about money and possessions when it comes to insurances. And very few have thought about that they re what they really are. And uh, I say, say, say it again. What the reality in practice does do with the time uh, I mean here what do you do in your reality that is every moment of your life your reality is every moment of your life what do you do in practice with your time If you haven't give this a good thought before, you gotta give it a good thought now because now is the time. Now is the time. There are several aspects. One is that you consciously or unconsciously consciously make choices 
If you say yes to something in your life, this also means that you say no to something else. So this is about a choice. An example, you sit and read lots of emails that you are not really interested in at all. And you could have sat and listened to a friend who told you about their la uh, latest revelation. <laughs> But you have an old thing going on in your life, an old habit. And that is that you have not time to listen to others, even if they interest you, just because you have this old habit. No other reason at all. This is all about having to make yourself conscious and aware of what you are doing in practice. So, you got to give this a good thought. Sit down, write down, look at yourself. Look at yourself. What in your life are you giving time? Because someone said once that what you give your time is what you love. So you better give your time to something you really love because that's what it means. Whether you understand it yourself or not. If you, for example, hate someone and you are giving that person time, the universal translation of that is that you actually love that person you say you hate because that's what universe energy, the universal energy will feel from you, from your energy, because you give it your energy. This is how it works. Uh, in a very short way, I can describe that this is the law of attraction. So people don't realize that they can die any moment. They don't realize what it means. There is nothing, no guarantee. And uh, some people think that if they sit still in their room all the time, there is no risks. There is no guarantee, no guarantee whatever you do. So you better live your life exactly how you will, will want to live your life because that's what you came here for, to do. The risk that something bad happens to you is much bigger if you don't do what you want to do, actually. Because that is also universal law. If you do things you love, the risk is minimum. But if you are going against what you love, the risk can be really obvious there. So when you are wasting time, um, you're not wasting only a few minutes in front of you. But all that would have been possible while those moments went on and you didn't take care of that. It's chances and opportunities in front of you that you don't take. Instead, you are sleeping and going in your old, old, old behaviors and you just stay stuck. Let's get out of this stuckness now. Take the brave step. Look at yourself and see that there is only one power and that is you who have that power over yourself and it's you who choose what you do with your time this is protection this is the highest protection the protection to take care of your own time this is yours if anyone can talk about to own anything i talked about this in other videos it's to own your own life this is actually the only thing you can own in your whole lifetime the rest is bullshit yes that's what i say my name is Freya Enjoy. Hello. I say, that is bullshit. The only thing you can own is your own life, your own time. 
Make your own choices. Use your brain. Get out of the stuckness. Don't waste your time on shit because universe will think you love what you waste your time on because that's how the law of attraction works. Number eight is a wonderful thing. You just got to know here now. This is going to intensify. And this is so needed. This transformation we go through all now in April. We have so much energy. This super pink full moon. This pink super full moon. And all the other things I talked about. Photonic light, light codes, rainbow light funnel and this energies so powerful maybe the most powerful month of the whole year when we look at it yes so it's important you really take care of those things i am counting here these eight things look at this video more than one time because this is about your life it's not about my life i don't tell this because i need to say this because uh, i need to hear this because I know this that's why I'm telling this in this video because I want you to know this this is why I do this video I would like you to really feel and understand that this is about you and your life your precious life so number eight is about nurturing and healing yourself and if you have time and if you feel for it, also your loved ones close to you. So self-care and self-nurturing is so very important for your health and absolutely essential for balance and self-healing. Sometimes... In the old paradigm, people thought that if you take care of yourself in a good way, they said that you were egoistic and you didn't care about your family or whatever. But you, you have to re-evaluate this 100%. Because that was how they, in the old paradigm, was putting down people. Who was actually taking care of themselves and out of that really had the possibility to act and be caring about other people. Because self-care, self-care and self-nurturing, it includes that you actually can say no. To say no in the right situations can be the most healing, the most loving, the most caring, the most safe you can do. And to understand this, you have to sit down and look at yourself and re-evaluate your life. This is your life and your time. Now, it's now. It was not yesterday. It's not going to be tomorrow. It is now. It is time to break free. It is time to establish and give attention to your self-care and self-nurturing routines so that you can create an authentic and healthy relationship with yourself that is free from biases about how you should be to be together with yourself how you should take care of yourself like others would know this better than you do 
and uh, to <clears throat> not get stuck in self des desperation and uh, see that you can talk to yourself that's what you need to do and when that day comes i hope it's today that moment i hope that is this moment when you realize that there is no better friend for you than yourself your best friend is yourself And by giving to yourself what you love to have, you will be able to give back to others without burning out. It will come from passion. True passion. It will come from your true passion. You have your true passion as an open door with the flow of your own life force when you truly take care of yourself and your time in a good way so i will uh, say the last here now i will stop by actually saying something that joseph campbell said he said what you love is what you make time for what you love is what you make time for and actually this will be the last and this is words from freya and joy joy that is me freya and joy wolf eye dances with dolphins shamama and ascension guide former shaman now shamama this is a new archetype in new earth shamama so i will put something after what joseph campbell said what you love is what you make time for i will say the first thing you should make time for is yourself because if you don't make time for yourself you don't love yourself so don't be ashamed or think that you are selfish when you give yourself time this is all about alchemical processes this is transformation and alchemical processes it's about quantum quantum transformation so Thank you so much for listening to this. Uh, and I wish you all a beautiful beautiful uh day or days when this uh pink super full moon is rising wherever you are on the globe. And uh, take good care of yourself and if you have someone or someone that would benefit from the uh this eight things key things you need to know now about this coming pink super full moon and the energies and what they mean to you you are so welcome and feel free to share this video thank you so much thank you and yeah welcome to subscribe to my youtube channel and be part of my community my beautiful community here blessings and much love from me freya enjoy blessings <laughs>